Pride, it's your boy Mari, back again with another reaction video. Today we are getting into a song by ATs, which is a new group that I have not reacted to before. This is my first time ever reacting to them. I have heard one song from them before and it was amazing. It's actually one of my favorite songs that I've heard this year. So this was going to happen eventually, but I've gotten a lot of recommendations to react to them. Uh, and so I just asked some people on my Discord server which song I should react to, and this is the song that they said I should react to. So this is the song I'm reacting to. If you don't like that, then sorry, drop in the comment section down below another song that you would prefer that I react to. I mean, I'm still going to react to this one. Obviously, we're here now. But another song for a future video. I don't know what to expect other than what I heard in that song but that song was really good so i'm guessing that this song is going to be really good but i don't know stylistically what they are known for or what they really do but without further ado we're going to get into this and see what they have for us definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and share not to miss more content like this and i'll be seeing all of you guys on the other side Was that Morse code? If so, tell me what it says, because I don't just inherently understand Morse code, but I, I know it enough to recognize it, and I feel like that was Morse code, and given this K-pop, it's probably like some secret message or something. So, I want to know, tell me in the comment section down below if you know what it says. This uh, pairing that they have between that, uh, it started out as like some very fairy like Pied Piper type flute and then it transitioned into what sounds like maybe vocal stabs that they just pitched way, way up uh, to make them like super high and almost sound like some type of horn instrument or something. But that high section paired with this acoustic guitar sounds really great. Right, we gotta go back a little bit. I was not ready for that transition. I was vibing with the, the aesthetic of the video uh, and the vocals, and then it just got super intense on me real quick. And I was like, "Well, well, this is." It looks like they're um, building towards some drop of some kind, which is interesting because this didn't sound EDME. EDME. You you know what I'm trying to say. It didn't sound like an EDM song at all in the beginning of the song, but it sounds like they're going towards a drop. So let's hear it. Ooh, okay, false drop there. The interesting thing about this is the drum section in the beginning part of this song was really not heavy. Like, it wasn't, I don't want to say it wasn't hard hitting, but it wasn't. Like, the focus of the mix was not on the percussive elements or the low end at all, really. They have uh, that middle section dominated by the acoustic guitar and then the stuff that's happening on top. It's a variety of different instruments that are, like, light over it. Um, but the low end was like really hollow up until this point. And then in the buildup, which then led to a false drop, and I guess another buildup, just increasing the intensity and the tension over the course of this, they, they shifted all of the, the focus of the mix towards the drums. So now the drums are a lot heavier. They're a lot stronger. They're a lot more present in the mix. And that's really interesting. And I like it because I like drums and low end of all kinds. So, uh... Super cool decision there, production-wise. Oh, 
Also, side note, completely unrelated to anything I've said so far in this video, this entire, really the entire image, the background is fire. I don't know if that's a green screen, uh, but it looks super cool and very, I don't know, ancient and royal. But the outfits in this particular section looks amazing. Dude in the front, yes, dude, I, I literally don't know any of these guys' names. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure... One of you will drop some info on them, or a lot of info. I say some, it's probably going to be a super long paragraph with like their whole backstories, natal charts, and everything. But um, I don't know their names. I, I literally don't. So it, it just has to be dude in the front. Dude in the front right here, he looks like, um, not he looks, his jacket looks like the old school, like 90s Venom. Not the Ven like the Ted Hardy Venom that you see now or that you saw in Spider-Man 3. But like the old Venom when he used to have the stripes on them that looks so cool to me i don't know why my nerdy brain just pulled that up but anyway their outfits are really cool in this scene and i felt the need to talk about it because given the way the k-pop videos go we may not see this scene again they might be like off in, in a nebula or something somewhere like maybe a completely different um vibe later as the video goes but uh, i wanted to appreciate their stylist or them if they decided to wear these outfits because they look good Going back again. Yeah, yep, yep. That's fire. That's fire. Also, that dude's voice is really, really cool and a lot lower than I expected it to be. I don't know why. Is he a rapper? Because in, in K pop, from what I've seen, they tend to favor lighter, higher vocals as far as singers, and the people with like the deeper, more resonant voices tend to be rappers. If he's a vocalist, I would love to hear that dude sing, like sing sing. Um, but yeah, his uh, Say My Name chant section right there sounds really cool. The drums in this section are awesome though, because especially because it's really noticeable because the drums started out very meh in, in the beginning of the song. Again, that wasn't the focus. Um, but over the course of the two build-ups, well, the build-up, false drop, build-up, and then, like, actual drop, they, like, tom rolled out of it into that drop, and then I think it's, like, um, is it a trumpet? It's some type of, like, brassy sound happening over time. It sounds really cool to me. I really like that, and that sounds great with that dude's voice, and again, that dude, because I, I don't know his name, but I'm sure... You guys will tell me that. Um, but he sounds really cool. And it, it, the uh, pairing of those really distinct sonic elements sounds really cool. Um, not at all what I expected the drop to sound like. But I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> that's a really interesting dance move and i'm not sure if that's like my favorite dance move of this video or my least favorite i'm, I'm very conflicted on it the, the the drive taxi one um this jacket is so cool oh my god anyway um i just needed i needed to comment on it because then my brain would have been distracted like trying to process my emotions on it for the rest of this video <laughs> Okay, but this dude in the front kills this dance move though. Like I, I can't even catch. This dude right here, him, yeah, they're all, they're all dudes. I'm sorry, it's just they're all dude for the rest. This dude, that dude, this dude over here. That's that's their names for the rest of this video, or maybe the next video because I, I probably won't know their names by next video. How many members are in this group? Eight. Am I am I bad at math? It looks like eight on the screen, but there might be somebody behind him. And he moves and be like, oh, there was nine. And people might rip off my head, OT9 or whatever. There might be 10 members. Of, he might not just be in this thing. You guys get really passionate. I don't know how many members in this group, okay? Don't take my head off. But anyway, 
This guy, right here. This dude. That was the point of this. That's why I stopped this. Anyway, if you're new here, I do this. This is just... This entire video is just going to be a stream of consciousness. That's... It's pure chaos over here. But subscribe, because, you know, it's fun. Anyway, this dude. He really... Dance move aside. He killed this section right here. That's the same guy, right? Wait, well, hold on. Okay. I just... It's gonna be so long. Oh, well. It's the same guy right here, right? So, same same guy in the front? In, in both sections? I love this guy's tone. Like something about his voice sounds good. I don't I don't have a good explanation for it. I was trying to as I started this, I just reacted and I didn't I didn't think all the way through. I don't have a, a nerdy something that's gonna make me sound smart to explain why I like this guy's voice. I just do. It just it's just good. He snapped. He snapped. We're going back. Anyone who's who's annoyed by me going back has probably clipped off the video by now, but if you haven't Thanks. Sorry. I'm just, I'm soaking it all in. Especially because when I miss stuff, people get all like butt hurt. But this is how I normally watch stuff off camera. I'd be liking to, to view it multiple times when I like it. So if I don't go back and look at stuff again, that probably means I'm not enjoying it that much. So this is actually a compliment to the chef, you know. But um, they killed that section. That whole, both of them, back to back, that rapping section. I'm saying both of them. I'm hoping there was only two people rapping right there. And if it was more, that's going to be really embarrassing. But the lower resonant dude and then the higher fast rapping dude very good and a lot of contrast between the two of them which was dope Is this him looking back at him? Is this, I'm not, there's so much going on, I'm not really paying attention to the lyrics. Sorry. I don't know if this relates to the, the song that much, but this is this is a cool imagery and also a little, a little ominous, a little terrifying. It's back. If this is them looking back at them on the other side, hold on. If this is them looking back at them on the other side of it, if this is like, I don't know, their sleep paralysis demon or something looking back at them. I don't know what's going on here, but visually I love it. My edgy black heart is like... Yes, all the outfits on the right side of the COVID panel thing going on, they look fantastic. Like, they look so good. I want all of those outfits. Of 
okay, okay. I was just trying not to stop during the bridge. It went super ballady on me, and I was I was shook. This song is like 18 songs in one song. Like each individual section sounds so different. They went like freaking alien on me, and I had to I had to stop. I had to I had to comment. I don't know who produced this, but like this is this is an 18 course meal happening in this one song. Dope. Super dope. Okay, that that was fire. That was actually super cool. The production of that song was all over the place. And I don't mean that in like in a negative connotation. I just mean like it, it went you heard the song. It went a bunch of different places. Like I was I was shook. The outfits were amazing. Especially at the end where they were like flipping back and forth between them and like the super edgy version of them with the hats and the mask and all the chains and stuff. I liked it, it was great. Backgrounds were also really cool. Again, I don't know if those were green screens or if they were like in a museum of some kind or some art exhibit or something. I don't, I don't know, but it looked cool. I thought it was really dope. I'm not really sure what the underlying story of that was. I'm sure there is one. Uh, like I said, it, there was a lot to process. So I didn't read all the lyrics. I'm not 100% sure what the deep meaning of the song and the connection to the video is, but it was a very enjoyable experience. I'm definitely going to go save that song, listen to it some more. I'll look up the lyrics and watch the video some more. Um, but overall, really cool. They had like a really cool formation at the end during the section where they were flashing back and forth between uh, the, I don't wanna call them hunters, but they were wearing like a bunch of fur and you know, like neutral kind of animal tone colors. That with the all black, with the white background, when they're flashing back and forth, they had like some like, triangle pyramid looking formation uh, where I think three of them were up in the middle they were doing like some face thing that was really cool overall very interesting video I enjoyed this a lot if you enjoyed this definitely make sure to like the video to let YouTube know that you enjoyed this and also recommend some other videos from ATs for me to react to because I would like to react to some more this song plus the other song that I heard are both really good and uh, I'm very interested. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of that, again, recommend some more songs down below and subscribe not to miss those. In the meantime, I'll be seeing all of you guys on the channel next time. Have a great day.